if you go back. Yeah, I, I, I want to understand say. how you kind of evolved. You know, what was it like going through maybe having the condition, not knowing that you have had it, and then how did you start learning? That well, wait a minute, you know, could take us back a little bit. I've never had anybody do that with before. Okay, um, so I, I think I first realized it that I had something going on wrong with me. Well, not wrong with me, but I, I think I was eleven, mm -hmm. ten, ten or eleven, and um, I was just spacing out a lot. Mm -hmm. it's classes, and that's what the a lot of comments from the teachers were that I was just spacing out a lot. Um, I was suffering a lot of anxiety. Um, I my grades were not great, um, and I went to Catholic school, which I did not want to go to. Mm -hmm. And um, I, my eleventh grade teacher was a like a. It was just a very. I don't know what, how we call it, but I, I was very fearful of him. And I was pre he pretty much physically abused me at that time in, in school. Wow. And um, there was a lot of hitting and a lot of fear, mental abuse. Hitting. And so I oh. felt that's where I started feeling all that stuff. And my mom was taking me to doctors, and I was it, 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 my my symptoms were a lot were very physical. Like I was nauseous, I was sick, I was throwing up. And um, the doctors, you know, I got checked out and all that stuff. And the doctor said he's healthy, you know, like, you might want to consider taking him to a therapist. Yeah. And so that's what she did. She took me to a therapist and they did tests on me and all that stuff. And they pretty much uh, diagnosed me with like maybe depression mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And so I was on depression meds. And then when I, when I started feeling better, they started like easing me off. Mm -hmm. And then it would go back into being depressed. And, um, you know, it was just one of the roller coaster ride throughout that. Yeah, the cycle. I wasn't diagnosed to as bipolar. Yeah. I don't know if they didn't know what it was. I don't, I don't remember at that time. So it just started know. just kind of as like a depression, like he's... The, well, the, as far the, as they understood. The, the depression part of it, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. It was bad. Yeah, it was bad. And I was very, you know, I was a loner. I was very alone in my, you know, in my house. And, you know, my house had a lot of things going on in it, too. I lived in Harlem, New York, and my... You know, my father was an alcoholic, and yeah. my brother at that time was a drug dealer. And so yeah. it was a lot of, a lot of things going on. A lot of house. chaos, yeah. Gosh, my a lot of chaos, a lot of crazy stuff. So my head was always just, you know, in denial. Mm -hmm. Trying to be in denial. Yeah. Way that stuff. But um, it started getting worse. Like, my anger started getting worse, the anger part of it. And um, it was very frustrating because... No matter how I, how loud I screamed at someone or whatever, it just it wouldn't release. Like I couldn't release anything, and so it came to points where I just had to like I started punching walls because I just couldn't. You know, my anger was got got so bad that I, just, I couldn't I couldn't. You kind of experienced that. I couldn't yeah. ex express that. I couldn't. Ex that was the only way to release anything, and it got so bad that, you know, like my my knuckles would get swollen, and it started like you could you can hear my knuckles squeak. When I work, whenever really? I work with people, that's how bad, you know, because I was just hitting things, kind of breaking yeah. doors and frustrated, just out of it. And so, and then I had no sleep. Yeah. I couldn't sleep, so it was a lot of that going on. And, um, yeah, and then you start, med you know, at that point you start self-medicating. Yeah. Because they, they, they put you on the depressed meds and then they take them away and then they put you on. It's, it just, yeah. And so I, you know, I was drinking a lot at that time. And... In my 20s, I started drinking a lot. And then I started to smoke pot mm -hmm. to see maybe that would help mm -hmm. me. And it did for a little while, but then it, it didn't. Mm -hmm. like it didn't work. And so I met my wife 18 years ago, I think it was. And um, that's when I, I decided to go to a doctor and see, to revisit the psychiatrist and see again what. What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I started realizing it was getting worse. And so I went to this doctor on the on the east side of Manhattan. She was very good. And she, she was the first one to diagnose me with bipolar. And at that at one point it was like, uh Yeah. Kind of like, yeah. And then but in another side it was like it just felt like I don't know, it just felt like a burden. 
to have that lady yeah, fight. Yeah, that double-edged sword. You exactly. Know? And so she explained to me that I would be on medication for the rest of my life and that I could never be cured of it. I could only be treated of it. And then that brought on a lot more, um, uh, a lot of depression. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a heavy because statement. I, I didn't know if I was going to be able to take this for the rest of my life. Like, I didn't know if I was able to want it to. Yeah. And, and so I decided to go on them. But, you know, I went through that. I went through where I started feeling better. And then I was like, oh, I don't need them. And then I would go off them. And then, mm. you know, I went through that roller coaster. I made that mistake to a couple of times where I just got off the meds on purpose because I thought I didn't need them. Or I forget. Were they helping? Up. Were they helping? They were the, helping. They were. And then you thought, oh, I'm I'm in this state because of, of me and my own health. I don't need Yeah, and a lot right? of times. I was happens. so used to going on that roller coaster ride. Yeah past that I was like, oh, this is the time where I'm supposed to get off them. In my yeah. mind. You know, my, not my doctor didn't tell me that, but in my mind, I'm like, oh, I can get off them now. And, well, that's what happened before. Right. And it would get worse. And, and every time I got off them, it would get worse. Something like, like the consequences of my actions were getting worse. Yeah. You know, I'm getting fights or, you know, so I finally just decided to stay on them. And my wife, you know, was like, she knew the difference of what she could tell you exactly if I'm on the if, I'm, if I stop taking the meds or not. She could tell automatically. So wow. Yeah. You know, so she started knowing the signs, and I started knowing the signs, and I started recognizing my triggers. And so, yeah, I've been on medication now for 18 years. In the beginning, it was off and up, but after after a while, it was just, I, I don't you got know, tired of doing that. Yeah. Does that help? Your wife the sounds amazing. She's here if you want to say hi. <gasps> yeah. Love to do. She's got a peek in. What's her name? Megan. It's Rexy. Hi, Hi, Megan. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Total high five oh. for what you're doing. <laughs> oh, it's such a pleasure meeting you. You guys are such an amazing kindred couple, is what I would Yeah, because a lot of people it. skip out. Oh, she said she. She, you had. <laughs> she needed a moment, maybe. Yeah. She needed a moment. It's, it's rough. I always yeah. say it's, it's rough on me, but I feel it's even. I think it's more, even more rough on her. You know. Yeah. Did you two do a duet together, like recently? No. No, that was a friend of mine. Hmm. Okay. Hello, just for a few minutes. Oh, yeah. we did a duet. Like a do like video TikTok or a video like a duel live. I I don't know. It was like I could see it had been duetted like three times by the time it got to you. It's one of your more recent. Oh ones. yeah, it was my friends. Yes. Yeah, okay. She started, she started oh, up that's today. fun. Yeah. But um. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. Hard. Both Rex and I know how it is, especially you know his OCD early on. In our, in our marriage, the first five years, that was like a smack in the face. Because I didn't know anything, anyone had it, and he was really struggling at that point. So. Yeah, this is pretty incredible. I haven't met a lot of couples that have this, you know, much in, in common and, and, and hopefully be able to share the stories in a way that yeah. Kind of what we were talking about earlier, not just challenging stigma, but, and not that we also need to beat our chest as, hey, look at our stories. We're so inspirational. No, but, not at all. but there are so many people <laughs> out there. No. There's so many other people out there that just want to not feel shame and to feel just the human need of just feeling proud about, mm -hmm. you know, proud of themselves, you know, you know, what, let alone be an yeah. inspiration, you know, for, for someone. And there was a balance. I think when I met him and we really started talking more deeply about it when we were dating. And then after we got married, I was really working hard on trying to, because he was so. It was pretty extreme. The case. labeling, was... the labeling. I've yeah. got this and this limits me. 
was so entra- just it was just intertwined in everything he thought and did and so that took a lot of unraveling and I my mission was you are not that you are amazing you have something but you can do whatever because he really felt limited I can't do this I'm not made for that I you know and some people said that to him eh you you know you'll you'll do good good here but not there yeah, that, and I was like, no. Even though you have a condition, one thing that I will say that God is absolutely involved in is that He can still do amazing things with your brain and your your mind, yeah. regardless of that always still being there. I remember being my 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 brain and mind is so different than the way that it was 20 years. I remember um, I had served a mission for my church and I had came home sick because I was so irrational, and I didn't know. Yeah. I was being irrational. I mean, how am I supposed to know whether or not these conclusions that I'm coming to are are valid or not? As far as I'm concerned, it's making me feel a certain way and I need to give attention to it. And and that was before medications that has helped to stabilize and and, and any therapy. Before I I remember even someone just once saying OCD for the first time, because I I had had I I had had attention to the detail, my hair had to be perfect. I didn't want to get crumpled. I had it with like appearance issues, uh, cleanliness, orderly. Yeah, even with re- re- religion and kind of worrying about whether I'm doing enough perfectionism. And that was just kind of how I lived my life. And I knew I was maybe a little bit different, but not anything, you know, drastic. But then when I went on this mission in England, it the stress was so significant. And I yeah. was also... Um, uh, immature and under underdeveloped in a lot of lot of ways, so that kind of exacerbated it to where it just really kind of came out right. And I came home, and long story short, in terms of my recovery, is that I was gradually kind of getting better and met Mel, and 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 she was able to really build upon all the good things that my parents did, and 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 also just to really help me challenge just things that even my parents still needed to, to learn differently, right, them, themselves. And so she was a really uh, a source that I could trust because I, I was kind of confused, right? I stayed in the... And so as I started kind of trusting her and kind of, you know, making decisions because it impairs your judgment, you know, that's one of the things that I think where stigma comes is that is if you have any kind of impairment, right? It's like if you had, if you had a, a impaired vision, right? Yeah. Then, and so if your judgment's impaired, then then you could have people behave in certain ways that maybe pe- make, maybe make you know somebody feel uncomfortable or whatever. And that's kind of where I think the stigma kind of comes from. But but you can learn better judgment and your judgment can get you know better. So over time, I, I started becoming more rational. The medication, you know, was more you know balancing the serotonin reuptake inhibitors and all this stuff that you you start learning. Now I was, I was uh, you know, learning about how the serotonin between the neurons, neurons in my cell, there wasn't enough of it, right? And so it was yeah, causing, no and so the the chemical, and and that's one of the reasons. Also, I want to give a plug for for people out there, especially those that watch this on YouTube, is that, you know, so many people out there will just view medications as as yeah. even an exacerbation yes. of stigma, and. And there needs to be credit to God working through science to help with when there's legitimate. Um, and there's, there's some, still a lot of shame yeah. associated with, you know, why aren't you, if you, this is you what know, I got. A weakness. This is what or I is got in, in our church. And this is when I really had to step back because it became unhealthy. Was I was told, um, so I was a president of our primary, which my favorite thing to do was to serve little kids that, because they serve us 10 times more. Um, I loved that calling, but I wasn't, I had to do things my way. So I, so the anxiety wasn't getting in the way and it was working. It was working really, really well, but it wasn't working the way some leaders thought, and they straight out told me, you know, when we called you, we knew you had anxiety, but we thought if you had enough faith that 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 would go away. And I was like, do not ever make that mistake. 
Because that mistake or those things that are said and done to some people might be on the wrong day and it might be their last day. Yeah. It might be just it might. the final nail in the coffin. Yeah. And so that's the thing that scares me the most yeah. about this thing is that the misunderstanding of people judging you or saying, Oh, you don't need medication or yeah. Yeah. You know, if you, you have to support, even if you don't believe it's, yeah. you know, if you don't believe it, you, that person and it's helping that person it's, and it's, and they believe then why do you have to say something like oh, you medication? Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, there are really people out there that still believe that the reasons why that some of these things are the way that it is is because there's a lacking of character or a lacking of strength or a lacking right. of virtue oh, yeah. to a sobering level. I mean, if there's anything that I feel would I want to have as 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 we you know we're kind of taking somewhat of a vulnerable risk here, but it's worth it to me to have this kind of conversation. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to pass and meet my maker and, and, and not come to my own conclusions about why he allowed for me to have this, to come to my own conclusions about what purpose was associated with that. It wasn't like he was just torturing me. It kind of ties into what I've said with Nell and, and her pain. And if I can help to be instrumental in any ways of, it, progressing whether that's someone not feeling like they need to commit suicide or feeling like you know what yeah. these, these guys are pretty down to earth and i can they're successful and they got relationships and they're not you know whatever these other these other stereotypes are um then I, that's what i that's what i want to do you know and and like you guys are doing that. yeah yeah exactly and 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 the, the, chem, the chemical that I, you know i was talking about the the, the chemical part there is no question it's like diabetes. I will tell you right now, I know when the serotonin levels, which we all have in our brain, there's something that with my brain, when the, when those levels aren't regulated, just like a diabetic, doesn't have to be ashamed. He's got something yeah. going on. There's no question. And I'm finally on. We, we've tried some different things. And mm-hmm. some of them, they're, they're, yeah. and I'm finally on something. That is, and, and it's just not like, like you know, you were saying it's not like oh you go off and then you're you're not feeling all right. No, there's a crash and it can be very very dangerous. Dangerous, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I even I even yes yeah that's about the yep. beginning when you go off and come back on or something would happen and and you know the the meds weren't stable. Yeah. Because in those cases, I just lost him. Like, yeah. he was so in yeah. his own place that yeah. we couldn't even, in, like, I would talk I would talk at him, but he wasn't receiving anything. And so in that in that I situation, it's it. hard. It, you, I mean, you don't really have a, a full partner. I mean, that's how it felt. No, yeah. yeah. And so, Cause it um, is, you know, it's screaming at him. Yeah, with time I learned that, you know, that, that passed. Mm-hmm. And as he got his meds together, you know, I'm always, I prefer to have him. Yeah. Really and, and yeah. You know, not that Present. Easy, um, right. and not that you know I'm always easy. It's a marriage. Yeah. Um, but we were best friends, and yeah. I know you know that we might need a minute, we might need to take a breath, yeah. but the love is strong. And I love that. Um, That's so learned. freaking amazing. I, I love you guys. So much about myself through hearing That's about true. what it's like for him to be a human. Yeah. And I think I think he's probably learned. From, from me sharing what <laughs> my humanity's like, and, and yeah. you know, the, the I tend to err on, I think it is erring on the perfectionist side. Yeah. And so there's a lot of self flagellation, and yeah. you know, he's taught me to relax a little bit. And some of the things that I was, you know, thinking the world would crumble if I didn't do a certain way, yeah. um, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the world's Love not crumbling. I love how in sync you guys are. It takes a lot of work and a lot of years, but that's exactly what we came down to are our, our, the foundation of love. And sometimes I, we underestimate sometimes people think that, you know, especially early on and you're young, love's going to carry you through everything. Sometimes it's the commitment. I am committed. I am here. Yes. And then when you get through that, there's a whole nother level of love and wisdom that is so far beyond worth everything. 
my mom always used to say the first five years of marriage are the, the hardest and the worst. So and when I told Megan that, like, in the first year, she was like, so we have four years. I know. <laughs> she has, like, a big countdown calendar. <laughs> four years. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't know if you shared this, but um, I got pregnant when we were engaged. So our first year of marriage was also our, you know, our first thing was together. So it was a lot. Um, it was a lot all at once. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. <laughs> Well, I just told, I told him I was pregnant at 19, but I had her at 20, so I wasn't really a teen pregnant. So we got that. So, yeah, we totally get the the going in hard, you know. Going in hard, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things that I want to mention is I, I know that when we were going through the learning process, you know, and I first met Nels, that was one of the first things that I said because I didn't want it to scare her away later. I didn't want it to be... You know, oh my gosh, you never told me that or whatever, right? And so it was kind of like, hey, you know, you're interested in me. I'm interested in you. By the way, I came home from First my mission day. sick and I have First OCD. Day, you, go. you know, and crickets, like, crickets, and crickets, crickets. Is you running I away? Didn't hug me. And I, I knew actually that... really admired him. I, I loved how I didn't have to guess. And I love that he was like, look, this is a part of me. Are you still in, in it? Are you still interested? In our first date, mostly was just walking around yeah, talking. Yeah, we went for a walk. And no, there wasn't a question. And I and I I, I say that, and I I I don't know. Maybe you, I don't want to speak for you, but for a long time, Nell went through a period where, as we were making progress and it was just grueling because sometimes it was genuine constructive change, but mm -hmm. sometimes it was, you know, feeding just the compulsion, right. Or whatever. It was like, if yeah. I wanted to talk yeah. through something, you're spinning, spinning. Ooh, and, I, and, nice. and, and I didn't, I didn't realize how bad it was. And it was, I was actually pretty functional. I mean, I've, I've provided for my family yeah. and I helped raise, you know, and so, I've, um, I've been successful in a, a lot of things, um, uh, through it, uh, but, but it was there was a, a part of what she was going through that she didn't share until later how impactful it was on her. In other words, I we, we weren't openly talking about, hey, are you okay? Or, you know, you know is this there hard? There's no time. I'm you sure you, you can relate. And so later... You're raising your children. We, we, just, we just got married. And we've, I've got a you know, he would want to talk till three, four in the morning. And no, there was nothing that was going to make that settle down. So there's nothing I could say. So years later, we made the agreement. Because <laughs> um, then what would happen is if he felt like I wasn't listening, he would go to somebody else. And then they would look at me like I was mean. because so I'd be like, hey, Rex. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, what's wrong? Yeah, let's visit. Yeah, let's what's wrong? Come on, let the guy talk. Oh, you. <laughs> they would say, let him talk. And I'm like, uh -huh. for the past year, he's been. I just talked her ear off for 40, 48 hours, and then yes. someone else sees. Uh, I thought he was going to say 45 minutes. And, I'm like, and yeah. then, and then someone yeah. sees, oh, wait a minute, you're saying they stop? Would, they would look at me like, what is your problem? Come on, let the guy talk. He's just trying to talk for five minutes. <laughs> what do they know? <laughs> I promise you. And then you're going to get stuck and you won't be able to go home. So you're going to thank me. But yeah. no, I had to. I, it was hell. It, it's I, a, we, it was oh, a, I was going to say, we came to the agreement. I said, I promised him that I was 100% listening, no matter how irrational it sounded to me or it didn't matter. He needed somebody to fully listen and know that. I cared a hundred percent, but then I said, look, if I'm at my limit and I say, can I'm, I'm getting there. So you have three minutes and that actually is really worked a lot of our marriage. You know, you come to, I had to come to some and he, so that way he knew I can talk and talk and talk. She's a hundred percent there. I was interacting and I just gave him a little cue that I can't, I'm, I'm reaching my limit now. But there was, it was, it was healthy for her to acknowledge that, you know, it, it wasn't always okay. 
and no. it was it was no. damaged. You know, and 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 for us to to realize that you know even though there's going to be an element of what we do mm -hmm. for each other as part of the coping and investing in, yeah. in in ways that maybe others you know couples aren't aren't needing to um, in that way to to also I don't know whether you want to call it set boundaries, but it's kind of like a yeah. But that doesn't mean that I need to throw up all over you every day, yeah. OCD, OCD, and her every day, pain, pain, pain. You know what I mean? There, there, there needs to be this kind of place that you. It's a. I would call it like a dance. It's part of. It's part of marriage anyway. But I, That's I don't know. True. It's kind of like. It's like okay, in a marriage you got to dance, and I feel I feel like sometimes we've been asked. Okay, not only is it dance, but you got to learn the polka. You got to learn this. You got to do that. And I'm trying to do it, and I'm like stepping all over the place. And I mean, because it's like clumsy. It's like I don't know how to do this, and and that's where, like she's saying, the com the, the commitment comes in because you're trying to figure it out. And there's no, you know, even if you look at self help books, and there's you know people, there's not enough people talking about it. There's not enough people to go to to try to see what they're doing and what they're not doing. And so sometimes you feel like literally like you are. The only ones on the planet trying to figure this shiz out, you know, and yeah. and I don't know if you guys can relate with that, but well, when you were talking, it reminds me of like holding your breath. Like sometimes I yeah. feel like to take care of him, I'm holding my breath. Yeah, and I can do that for a few minutes comfortably, mm -hmm. but eventually I have to breathe. Yeah, and so and, and one thing that I'm mm -hmm. learning more and more, and still something I'm learning, is that he doesn't actually need me to hold my breath, right? Yeah. Like I. You know, I, I can I can be there with him and, and whatever's happening and I can keep breathing yeah. um, and so I can tell him what's happening for me and whenever I so think like, there's a part of me that. in my head the, the part that still feels like I need to take care of him in some ways because mm -hmm. there have been times in the marriage where I felt like I had to do that and yeah. then, I just don't want to make his situation worse, right? right. Like, I don't. I don't want to do anything that's going to make things harder on him when he's already yeah. struggling. Yep. And, and and but what I've learned is that when I'm brave enough to just say what's true for me, like what, what's happening for me yeah. right now when we're doing something, he's never. It's never made it worse for him. He, especially if I do it before I've held my breath so long. Yeah. Because you're. Like, cause... Were you concerned that he yes. couldn't take it, right? You couldn't sit. You didn't think before that. she's reached her limit. You really appreciate her. Absolutely. I, well, I love how you. I love your analogy of that. So and you're saying I that you it. thought that I understand that he's in this place and there's like a, a certain element of you know delicate, and I I can't give any degree of add add to it, and and so it was kind of like discovering. Hey man, he's got something that's going on, but he's not like in a break just because yeah. I have. And it yeah. sounds like you really appreciate her honesty. I do, I do, but I, you know, and I always I welcome it because, you know, when I'm in this loop in yeah. my mind of like something going on, and it could be, I mean, to me, it's rational, but it's irrational. Yeah. Like I'll go through this irrational loop, and she'll talk to me, and she'll look at me like, no, you know, like, and, I, and then I realize like this is. You know, and I'm realizing myself that it's like, maybe it is irrational because I used to be the person that anytime I felt something, whatever, I would go straight to the doctor, straight to the doctor, straight yeah, to the doctor. Yeah. I sat in a lot of doctor's offices <laughs> and, you know, tried to be as supportive as I could. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He won't listen to me, doc. <laughs> She's in the corner going, he's yours. <laughs> yeah. Let the doc tell you. <laughs> I'm done. She helped ease me off of that. Yeah. She let me know that my, my fears of these irrational give it. She's like, she told me how to give it some time. Yeah. So let's see how it goes. Let's watch this for a minute and see how, you know. Yeah. And so, you know, and it, I, I know that comes from my anxiety, but it also comes from my mom because she was a nurse and she was very neurotic. And so she would always, like, take care of me and take me, you know, I was the youngest one and yeah. I had the head issues and the problems. And so she always was on top of me. And so. That makes a lot of sense. When we got married. You know, I'm, I'm laying all this craziness <laughs> on her as far as like a loop. And she's, she, you know, she, nothing like my mother, of course. And she's like, we're going to watch this. We're not going to, you know. Yeah. You know, Just slows you me, down. She helps slow me down. Yeah. She helped me not race, you know. And you, and all, most of the time, it turns out to be okay. Yeah. I'm still here. <laughs> it, yeah. To find someone, whether it's a spouse or just a friend or a family member that you trust 100% yeah. in these conditions, 
physical or mental is uh, yeah, the really... biggest blessing that you got to have a person, your person that, that, you know, whatever they are doing, they're doing for you, your best interest. Yeah. Because there That's were times, huge. there were times where, when I was gradually changing from an irrational space to pretty rational, like sometimes I probably, I, I could behave in a way that where people probably wouldn't even tell like, Oh, right. this guy doesn't have OCD or perfect or whatever. Yeah. But it, it was not. That was a lot of work, and she's to credit more than more than any anybody. Um, but there, were, when, when you when you're completely backwards in a belief or a thought, and you don't see it, if somebody comes to you and tries to, you know, even if they know that they can't change your mind, right, about something, mm -hmm. but they're asking you in the interest of the family, the kids, me to not only challenge it and reconsider, but do like maybe even the very opposite of what you're considering. You got to have yeah, some Yeah, nobody can pretty, just walk up and do that. Un, I mean, because there have been times where I would I would literally do the exact opposite. And in my mind for a time, I, I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm doing the dangerous thing. I'm doing the this thing or whatever. But then, but what, what, what my saving grace was with that is I knew this is somebody that would never have me do something that would, that would lead me down, you know, a path of, of, of hurt. Or, yeah. And it takes time to earn that trust yeah. on both sides. So I, I, um, I was like, I help it. Fine. Are... I'll do it. You're, you're... In fact, I'll, I'll just add this humor a little bit. There are literally times where I, I could only let go of what I was obsessed with. Sorry. The uncomfortable feeling this vulnerable. Cause I'm sharing this with the world, but, but, um, <laughs> There, there, there are times where I've been, I was so bent on being that this obsession was right about something. Yeah. I needed to do more of this or I needed my, you know, my, my eternal salvation was on the line yeah. if I didn't yeah. do more or whatever. And the only way that I was able to start breaking free with that free was that was kind of like this attitude of like, fine, it's your fault. Something goes wrong. I did what you well, you said I, I couldn't I, at that space I couldn't take a hundred percent responsibility. Of course that had to change, right? Because you can't put you know you have to learn to be a responsible, mature you know. But as a step, but as a step, it was like yeah. fine. If I'm going to hell, if I'm you know I make the wrong decision, it's on you. I'm saying I did what you said. You know, he and that, said that to me, and I'm like, yeah. I, I have said and yeah, and that that, that was helpful. Scare me for me. And I guess to some degree, kids kind of do that kind of, right. They kind of, you know, if they're trusting in their parent, they're yeah. like, fine, if something goes wrong, it's just, I, 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 anyway. I was going to say, you know, you, you have an adult child and two that are well on their way. Our children have become an extension. They're so helpful for me. And especially when I'm having a really bad physical day and maybe he's struggling they know him so well that they step up and they're they're he's got a little you know his his little family that you can trust you can trust any one of them they all know him they all speak very softly um they always make sure to first say i love you and i understand um but that's that, that's priceless that's when you right have there. yep that's it right there that Get that. Just someone to say that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And Antonio, listen, I huge. I, one of the reasons why Bill and I, or especially me, have loved this live and this connective stuff, you know, is that he was so excited. You know, yeah. when I was talking to um, some of the first people that experienced the chronic pain stuff, right, Misty, and and. Um, What's her name with her husband? You asked the wrong person. Anyway, I met. I, I, her name escapes me. I'm gonna. She's gonna. Courtney. Courtney. Courtney, Courtney and her I husband. I apologize. It's my mess. Yeah. So I, I was talking with Cor <laughs> Courtney's <laughs> husband. That was the first time in probably 20 oh, yeah, years yeah. that I've ever spoke with someone that could relate. That was a caregiver and, and yeah. a spouse with someone with pain. Well, likewise, I, I've you know everybody's got problems and different things. I've yeah, never and me met, and I know wife, that, that's like, like virtual. Hug yeah, because yeah, that, yeah. I'm serious. Yeah, this is pretty. 
Because you have a, a beautiful. I mean, I know that you don't. Seriously, I know that you don't have like OCD, but you have. I mean, there's there's some underlying similarities. I think I have a little bit of that. Too, yeah, and I yeah. I've never I've never met anybody and been able to talk with them, and and feel like that they can relate. You know, it's, it's like it's like a, you know, I've got a, a a short person friend, you know, and I'm sure what that person what that would feel like, you know, meeting people that that share or you know mm-hmm. wheelchair something. Like, yeah. How, it's so rare or that people talk about it or, or don't yeah. talk about it. So where people don't know where it's, it's not common to be able to just, Oh, well that person, that neighbor has, let's just go talk. And so anyway, yeah, I, yeah total virtual hug that's, you guys. I mean, total. That's needed. That's why I do, I, I've done this stuff on TikTok because it's needed to bring that, you know, we need to talk about that stuff. Yeah. And, um, I went, I even went kind of tried to so much research in a sense where I looked at my analytics and I yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I noticed that I had way more women followers than I had men. Yeah. So I started to talk about that on one of my TikToks about, you know, I'm not the only guy here that's suffering through this. You know, there's got to be more of us that's, you know, yeah. and it's because we have that, especially men find it very hard to talk about. They it. Think, yeah. Yes. They, 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 they mistakenly will view it as a, a weakness. I mean, men, men already have that. So if yeah. they've if got if they've got that about anything, right? And it's like, oh, if I show my feelings to my spouse, mm-hmm. which she's gonna go goo goo gaga over. I mean, to other guys, oh, you know, I might. It's the exact you know. thing that we we want. Yeah. <laughs> so that sometimes, you know, you fight against, and oh, I would, you know, sometimes I've I've said kind of for as much as you talk, I would just like him to be. It was hard for him to get. There's too much coming at him. It's hard for him to get to his feelings. And so he could say one sentence that talks about and, and being vulnerable and talking about how he really feels. That literally fills my tank. I feel like I'm I'm depleted a little bit. One sentence will change it. When he could be talking for hours. You know what I mean? But I get that you guys have to fight through and I get it. I've got my, I have anxiety, but I can't mm-hmm. imagine the layers. Um, but to get past all of that that's coming at you and saying, I'm first, I'm first. No, I'm first. No, I'm one of your TikToks that I died laughing was when you were calling, making sure everybody was in class. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. And you know, there's always like, and that's why I, and I put like that manic behavior thing in the background. I love it. It's always there. Like, if I yeah. just put this one else, yeah, I'm ready. Like, 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 <laughs> I've signed up for class, ready when you are. Yeah. <laughs> it, that one was a good one. I love that you can laugh at it. We have to. Yeah. We have to find humor and joy and smiles through all of this. I mean, what else are you going to do? laughter in it, too, because yeah. if they fall, I mean, it cannot be depressing. No. There's it... some ray of light in there somewhere sometimes. Well, and there's so much compassion in it. Yes. You know, just because it builds compassion for yes. each other. Our, our battles may be different, but... Yep. But yeah, there's one thing we all have in common is that we're all suffering in some type of way. Yep. Everybody, yeah. Yeah, everybody. And nobody, and that's, that's one of the things I love about these conversations. And I guess, you know, it... it it, it kind of goes along with the, the, the big names or in terms of what you see the masses gravitate to, like your Ellen's and your Oprah's. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, you know, you, decades, you know, things that you would, you know, never even talk about are like just standard conversation now. Right. You know, and, and, and I see this as, I guess a part, a big, you know, a part of all that. Right. I mean, I, yeah. I've always say that heavenly father looks for any, area in which he can you know bless you know more and, 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 and more and more and um and it's a weight off you know it's it's a it's a relief the more you you know you, when you give permission to yourself and you feel like someone else has given you permission and you've you learn to love yourself and accept yourself and someone else managed to do that and 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 that's enough to get you by you're thinking okay if i got a small circle and that's enough. I don't need the whole world to, to, to get there. But you know what? It's a lot easier when people 
at church or people at work or people in, you know, or now you got yeah. some friends. It, it just makes, you know, we're deserving of that just like any, any other minority. Yes. This world needs compassion. Yeah. Infinitely. And we're so far behind. We really are. Yeah, and we're seeing in so many different ways how connected we all are. And, yeah. And I, I mean, I don't think we have a choice anymore. Yeah. <laughs> the problems are big. That, and, that part I love. And honestly, COVID has really unveiled a lot of it. And I love that that's kind of forced people to okay, I've got to look at this. Can't ignore it anymore. You know, mm -hmm. going out so much. I can't. Have to look at themselves yeah. Much too. Yeah. And I'm sure thousands upon thousands things were brought up that they didn't even realize because they're so buried. Yeah. I don't think I would have done TikToks at all if it wasn't for If it wasn't for, yeah. And it's also helped. It's, it's been therapy for me in a sense yeah. where I've been able to release, talk about what's been going on, listening to other people a lot, telling me feedback and them telling me their stories. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's been like, it's been kind of like a world group uh, meeting yeah. of some sort. I know. You know, you know it's been, it's, I don't know, it's like a share, I want to get a share circle in a sense. Yeah, I wouldn't trade it for a second. I don't yeah. care how hard it was because of this. Because yeah, well, and I think we're, we're about to step into like a worldwide grieving period. Yeah, you're right. In all different ways, because yeah. even the grieving that's been going on was so um, just shaped by the limitations that yeah. COVID put on everybody. Yeah. Um, and I don't know what that looks like, but I know we need yeah. a bunch of compassion and open hearts. It's, it's, it's certainly by. not over, oh. is it? And right in the back of my head is this anxiety about are you ready to start this again? Like get back into the normal? You know, in my mind, oh, it's like, I'm not ready to get back in the normal. A lot of people, but, it will take, it will take time. I yeah, think a lot, I think a lot yeah. of people are like, yeah. no, actually, what scared me is now more comfortable. And I'm going to approach society even more carefully. Right. We all got to figure it out. But what I love is this, this is what's been the biggest miracle people yeah, connecting so, all yeah, over and and you you have you know people taking notice like you know whether it's the good things utah uh we've been in conversation with the american chronic pain yeah. association's founder and ceo uh, uh, we've been in conversation with uh nathan osmond's camp he's the son of uh, Alan Osman. Um, so when people are willing to, you know, put it out there and have conversation and look at things, even though things aren't technically decided and we don't have it all planned and, you know, to formally release it, the point is, is you've got good people um, mm -hmm. of all walks of life drawn to them. And and good good on them for just yeah. even oh, yes. even yeah. just responding and being part of that conversation. If that's if we just put period end of sentence, that's all that happens, and we're part of that conversation. That's a huge win. Right, because they have a much bigger reach. Yeah, and and, and right so now, we'll so. we'll see where things continue to go. It'll just kind of you know grow or organically, but but it's it's very needed. Yes, for sure. Yeah. yeah, I definitely, I was talking to Antonio and saying, you know, the first people that we've had on here, um, because we've, we're, we're trying to start our nonprofit, Spoonful of Sugar, and um, so that we can reach more and more people. Um, get things to them that just make them smile you know mail service flowers gifts something in the mail other than bills and you know yeah. advertisements yeah that's about what it is yeah. those two things fun but you know it's not it's not going to be i it's incredibly important to me um and when it, when it talks about, you know, 
placing your mission statement. It's so simple, but to me, it can be so incredibly mighty and changing. Um, because the smallest things, when you when you have been slammed to the to your bottom over and over and over, what happens is you you appreciate the teeniest miracles far far more easily. And so just getting things to people that are out of our reach, other you know, other than through through this wonderful gift is what we're really, really pushing for. And we have interest in. We already have somebody yeah, so we've, we've... somebody uh, a charity that's um, pretty yep. well known that's already looking to donate as soon as we get that up and running. So yeah, the charity, this charity that's looking at us may only be able to contribute if you're um, a 301 BC, I think it is, a nonprofit organization. Right. So we're, we're, we're getting to a point where other than either doing a formal donation, which is also in the works of doing like a Facebook Live where we're doing it more associated with the American Chronic Pain Association and having encouragement for donations to go to them. There have been a 40 plus year, you know, organization, but when we want to have more control over donations that come into what we want to do, whatever Nell's 100%. vision, then, then the formality of that, of getting an actual non, you know, profit spoonful of sugar. And there, there's so much to be said about ACPA and what they've done. And, but we have our own ideas and I talked to you about why we why we always say chronic pain and suffering. So obviously the ACPA is specifically chronic pain and Yeah, yeah, they've and got so that's number one. And number two, when you live it day in and day out, either side, you you you're able to look look at things totally different and i feel like i see things different than they do i feel like i i, I see maybe holes that aren't being um paid, paid attention to i feel like there's some major gaps between people patients and people are suffering and you know and maybe even some and, and i've got to tread lightly here but Compassion has to be first. You cannot ever walk up to somebody suffering with anything and be like, hey, if you did this, this, and this, this, you'd be a lot better. If you cannot sit down and just listen and have compassion, after all the years of hell they've gone through, forget it. You know what yeah. I mean? So Yeah, they're not going to go to we a website. Not that I'm saying that this organization doesn't. Absolutely you know, not. But, but I, you know, they're not going to. And somebody that's going like with what you guys have gone through or for lupus or yes. whatever. It doesn't matter how good of a website you have or what articles you've got or what videos. They're not going to spend time no. engaging and having that be part of, of their progression. If the first experiences that they don't have is that this person really, really, you know, does genuinely care. You know, they. They are trying. They are reaching back to me because people are reaching out in desperation. Who's out there? Who yes. are you? And if you don't genuinely, you know, reach back out and 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 engage, they want to have that engagement. Then they're not going to ever know about you. So so we're in the process of some collaborations. We've already done mm -hmm. some with with the with the American Chronic Pain Association and good things, Utah things. Yeah. But there but but there are some things that we want to do that maybe they aren't going to be as involved with. And so those are whether, however long it, it takes, we, yeah, we, we no, want to be able to have that autonomy to, 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 to achieve our own goals. And, and, and you're right. And it's, we, we love how it's inclusive of pain and, and suffering of all, of all kinds. So it's, it's not going to be, you know, a situation where it's like, Oh, well, wait a minute, this person's got so much pain in these different ways but, oh, well, that was OCD or that was bipolar. Oh, they, no. oh, okay, wrong group, you know. I mean, <laughs> right. 
I love, I do not do that. Go, go try to find your group. See, that's what I don't want. So yeah. we all, we've all done the sifting of, yeah. where's my group? Yeah. You know? And sometimes even something that might be titled right, it might not quite fit. For me, I honestly don't know where I belong because my medical diagnosis, it's, it's been really hard for doctors to understand. They always, we laugh about it now, but we know what they're going to say. We haven't seen it like this before. We haven't seen it this bad before. We, we don't know what to do. We have to talk to experts. So I don't know where I fit other than I understand pain. I understand it mentally and physically. And when someone can talk to someone else and say, says, I understand, you know, um, at least the basics, th th that's big. And when it's someone that leads a fairly healthy life coming at you, yeah. you know, it's, that's going to be not as received as easily. Yeah, and I, I love the inclusion feeling that we get feed. We're starting to get feedback of that, and and uh, you know we would love to see the the YouTube channels following. You know, if it's going to increase and increase, be genuine people that aren't just oh well they're interested. I just want to follow. Like I want them to. We want them to feel like that they found a family, like they found a, a, a belonging. Yeah, 100%. And you you mentioned that you you grew up and you had some experiences where you know maybe I. I felt excluded, you know, and, 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 you know, you're not, you're not part of the, the cool kids, you know, club or, 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 or whatever. And, uh, you know, no, nobody, I think that anybody, I think everybody yeah, that about, really breaks my heart when you, you know, whether it was like because that. they, whether it's because the cheerleader that thinks that she's the less pretty cheerleader or whether it's the, this, I think we've all kind of gone through that feeling of feeling like that someone else said, you know what? you're different or you're not good enough and you're just not, yeah, you know, so part of things. So much more so when, because he was pretty young when he was, he, you were being treated for ADHD. Is mm -hmm. that what it was? Yeah, yeah. And that's when they were kind of writing prescriptions for Ritalin right, left, and center, which stunts the front of your lobe. So you both as children didn't know what the hell was going on in your little bodies. Yeah, I remember. And so that's much more rough than just. Eh. I told the doctor when he was trying to, when it was in relation to the ADHD, I'd like, I feel like there's just channel TV channels going, yeah. and I have no, I have Do you no, ever feel like that? I have no more remote control. That's the way I explained it. It's like manic, right? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah tell like me a little manic. bit. Tell me a little bit more about that manic. That's a good tie-in because I, I understand the depression part and people that, that experience. That's your, high, that's your high. Because I don't love it. I call that I call that I turn into Tasmanian yeah. devil. I don't mind. Clean house. Clean house. <laughs> clean house. Yeah. It's appreciated but slightly scary. Like it's what's okay. gonna come after? Are you okay? Yeah. House looks great. The crash comes. Yep. And that's like you're just out. Yeah. So manic. Yeah, so so yeah. let's talk about that I a little bit. That. Depression is a is a term that I think do this okay is is a lot more commonly understood. Even if it's just somebody who doesn't deal with clinical depression, everybody's had, I think, a moment where they can say that was depressed. I, I did not want to do right. anything. I didn't care about this. I didn't care about that. And then they kind of move out of it. Manic, some people might look at that as, you know, visualize a person on the edge of a building thinking they're God. And, you know, I think it's misunderstood. Different levels. It's all different levels. People, some people who, who, there are some people with extreme manic behavior that will have a person that will go into extreme debt buying like things they can't afford and stuff like that because it feeds them. And then that, it, yeah, that's so true. So define them with this, this manic, is it, is it, is it more, is it just the opposite of depression? Meaning that you're just oh, feeling, yes. 
You're just feeling like that I can go and take on the world. This is so awesome and great, and you're on top of the world, and you know you're gonna get this done and that done, and you're gonna get this something like I'll go up I'll buy some, I don't, thank God I've never gotten to that point where I'm managing to a point where I've gone and bought things that like I'm extremely to debt but I'll go out and buy something for myself that I don't need or you know like or I don't know it's been a while yeah just for that yeah yeah the house is yeah. kind of dirty <laughs> 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 And then I was like, oh, well, maybe if I go to the gym and I'll start getting this manic behavior oh, out, you know, get it out. Yeah. So that made it worse. Did because it really? I, yes, because the medication I was taking was trying, is, is, is meant to help you raise the serotonin. Yeah. To yeah. Right. Level, level. And then, so I'm on that legit medication. I'm on my routine, you know. Yeah. Then I'll go to the gym, and I can't, you know, it, it totally messes it up. Like, all of a sudden, the, the medicine I'm taking, I'm taking too much of that. Because yeah. I'm, I'm replacing that with working out. It oh. reminds me of, it's 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 interesting, because it's like with the diabetic, where they're trying to do the insulin versus the sugar. Thing. You know, God made our bodies be this biochemistry miracle. Mm -hmm. And the chemicals could be in the form, you know, be, it could be insulin, it could be serotonin, mm -hmm. it could be dopamine, it could be, you know, cortisol, dopamine, all these kinds of things all have. And, yeah. and the yeah. cells that are, you know, processing all of it, if they're working properly, are designed to literally, you know, constantly make adjustments, right, to, to, to the levels of something. Otherwise, it's you're, you're, you know, too much this, too much that or whatever. And then and just like a machine. And so that's kind of what it's like is that we all have these moments, whether it's because I'm, you know, running a Spartan or I just, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I just gave a speech, right, to 10,000 people or whatever, you know, these that, that go through life. But they've, they've got thing, people that don't have bipolar, their bodies are maybe regulating that a little bit more the way that I guess the healthy you know, function it, and and so that's what these the the chemistry adjustments that these scientists have kind of been involved with are are doing to try to compensate, right? Because your yeah, body's right. not just regulated, regulated. Yeah, that's fascinating. And, and I went to. It got to the point where when I was going to the gym, I was having too much of it. That I was missing out on experience in Right. Well, he would, and, and just to say, I think they're probably could have been a way for him to adjust his meds with the exercise. Like, I think, I think with time, it's, yeah. it's not that good. But it takes so long yeah. to you. It yeah. takes so long just to get it your does. medication right. It does. It does. Yeah. I mean, like, it took three, like two or three years just to get my medication right. So when it got so. near gym time, he would just get just angry. Yeah. He just had so much. Yeah. Um, and I couldn't miss it. I could not miss a day. Yeah. Wow. Asked me every day. And it got to the point where I was like, it got so crazy, and I was like, I gotta pick one or the other. Yeah. Well, and it's also challenging because of that. He, as he said, he grew up in New York City, so he didn't have a driver's license for the first few years we were married. Mm -hmm. So he couldn't just go to the gym himself. Like, you know, there were other things. That yeah. That yeah. And it was pre, you know, Lyft and yeah, Uber yeah, and all that. Stuff, yeah. So, oh, um, my word. Yeah. Yeah. It just, just figuring it all out was probably yeah, yeah. a huge stress on both of you. I didn't want to mess up my, 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 reg my medication regimen. Mm hmm. I, uh, I took three years to get that right. I didn't want to go and be like, all right, I'm going to gym now. Let's let's start this up. You know, I didn't want yeah. to experiment. Yeah. So I just dropped the gym and just stayed with my meds. And when, yeah, you know, when you're on some of your meds, do you actually feel? Because I take quite a few triptans for my head pain. Mm -hmm. um, a normal person, I they get a limit of twelve a month. Um. I was at about 30 a month. That's how bad my, because this just, my nerves are absolutely, and then my brain doesn't know how to communicate. So it's always telling my body there's an injury. So it will, go, it will get fiery, hot, and swell. And But anyway, there's one trip that I can feel. 
it literally, and these all affect my serotonin as well. And the only reason I know is we have an amazing pharmacist who he just kind of, whenever he sees my medications change or he'll stop and talk to me and, or Rex. Mm -hmm. And he mentioned that he said, so just, you know, with all these tryptans that can affect your serotonin, even go into serotonin syndrome, which is Rex. I almost real died. Close to death. I almost Over. died because one of the things that was I, I tried, it was causing me to just go, ooh, ooh, and like jolt. Yeah. It was the weirdest thing. I, yeah, the, he's being the electrical, by his own the chemical, the chemi the chemistry was so off that it started throwing off whatever regulates the electrical. And then you had too much. And so, so I, I mean, there's so, oh my gosh, there's so much electricity in our body. I don't know. I guess that comes from our spirit. Who knows how that is? But we've got, we've got electricity. He does feel like he and I would, I would, I would feel it build instead of it balancing and just being in a homeostasis. It would just build, 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 build. And I go, Bleh! and they, they thought, they thought I had Tourette syndrome for a while because they, they're like, yeah. what's going on? And I'd, I'd go to work and I'm trying to function and all of a sudden, it was the craziest <laughs> thing. They, it's like, I'll what's wrong with this guy? You know, good I'll thing I had some forget. loving people there. That was the first, I'll <laughs> never forget them um, kind of offering him an office with a door. Hey. Did they? Hey, oh, you, I you have, I've had some office, good people in my life. Not just a <laughs> Everybody but, else is, you know, but I, yeah, every it, hour. Just it almost not, killed me and I recovered. It, it, it was a while. Like a, really serious. But, um, but anyway, one of my meds, one of my triptans, and it's the one that works the best. It hits that pain. But I hate the way it feels. I literally can feel it like almost squeezing, constricting, which is its job the blood vessels so there's not this pumping of pain but it makes my chest just feel tight and my i've just you don't like the let, side effects of it i don't like that yeah. one. so meds you know like i've been on meds where side effects have been i wasn't willing to go, go yeah, through yeah yeah exactly you gotta just find a fit yeah you have to really weigh it up and i have to experiment and then there were times when i was with the kids and i was megan was at work and I would have to call her at work and say, this is hitting me too hard. I can't take care of the kids like this. Wow. You know, I was getting too drowsy or something like that or something like that. You have to come home and stuff. And I'd get off those, try something else. It's just like, you know, some of those side effects could be a lot. Well, when we yeah, talk, we talk a decent amount of medicine. And I think that it's good to have that positive, you know, that there's appropriate place for it. And yeah. I think, and without getting into a subject, cause I don't, I don't want to like take like forever with this. Cause we could just keep going on and on, but there's, uh, uh, important component, at least there has been with me, is therapy. You know, therapy, I think, you know, whether it's couples therapy, family therapy, individual therapy, I have gone through so much therapy and I have had to learn what the differences were between what's an irrational versus, you know, rational. And, and that could be another stigma. Some people don't, I don't need a therapist. There's no, no way, you know. Uh, right now, I am I'm excelling. I, in fact, yeah. I've even learned to leverage my OCD to where I is, I'm able to bring amazing results That's into true. a company right now. That's true. Because I'm able to have such a strong attention to detail, and then I kind I try to curb my perfectionism a little bit to have right. an, a pursuit of excellence, like your Six Sigma. I don't know if you're familiar with that, where where you know you don't want it to be perfectionism at work, so you just curb it a little bit. And then you're excelling, right? Because you're you're pursuing of excellence. So I've been able to actually I had, I had you know, use that to be a strength. His, his therapist, because one, yeah. Oh, and he came at the perfect time because there was a moment in our marriage where I was like, I had three little kids in tow, you know, and I was like, you gotta either you gotta choose which one you're because it was meshing too much. Yeah, she she should. It. It's Is not it her anymore? job to be the therapist. It's not her. Even yeah. even though this, there's a there's a role for yeah. the spout, you know, for somebody that's willing to 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 be in, you know, for the long haul. It's not but, fair to put that. Uh, was level. his name Jed? Jed, yeah. Oh my gosh. I, he's an angel for the rest of our lives, and he for the rest of our lives <laughs> for eternity. <laughs> but anyway. He was so good for Rex because we mentioned how a lot of his OCD was tied up in religion. 
and perfectionism. And can I get back to God? Well, no, I can't because I sinned one time years ago. Or, you know, and some of them, some of his actions, he would categorize as sinning. And I'm like, no, no, it's not. That's just, that's just called being a dumb kid. What, you know? <laughs> I was just. You, I was all you, worried. Was I was all, so anyway, worried. Anyway, this this there. He was easy he going. He was the opposite of. He was easy going, but he, when he seen Rex kind of trying to make excuses or or did it didn't talk too much, he's like stopped him, even would swear, and I'm like, that's what he needed because it separated that religion completely, and he's wow. like, look. Same thing with me. He said, do you, do you want to get back to your family? Do you want to be healthier? Do you want to have the tools? And he would be, he firm would use when he some needed language to, with him sometimes. He'd be firm when he needed That's to be firm. Needed. And then he'd, he'd help yeah. unwind me Yeah. when, you know, he, yeah. So, so I absolutely, oh, there's, 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 a, there's there, something sure. to be said. So, so absolutely. If you're not in therapy and you're watching this and this rings true to you, do not, be ashamed. Yeah, therapy is a must. You can decide what meds, maybe, but not with, don't go without. Uh, yeah, you somewhere. cannot just look at medication. Oh, that's just going to fix things. That that absolutely oh, yeah. can be a part well, of like it. Like you said, just in your daily life with both of you, there's you still constantly have to work. Everyone constantly has to work. Yeah. I mean, we've I've gone to therapy alone. We've gone together. Yeah. I went first in college. I don't even. I just heard we had a number of free therapy sessions awesome. as part of this health insurance, and I was like, "That seems like a good thing yeah. to do," and I loved it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. well, that's awesome! It's, yeah, that's it's not awesome. always. I, I haven't as much therapy like in, just because of cost and time and yeah. all that. But, yeah. um, it's so. That's it why is. you jump it's... when you hear free therapy because it's yeah. not always cheap. You don't. You know, and then finding finding a good therapist. Find a therapist that you can connect with and that yes. yeah. mm -hmm. That's very important. You know, it's yep. been to many therapists and And there were a couple times where they kept moving. Like you would finally find one and, and they just went out and they're leaving. And then they just moved out of California. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We had a connection. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know too much about me. Nah. -uh. But it seems like now with the online, we haven't tried the online thing. Just speaking of my experience is talking to my doctors online, especially on days when you're not okay. Yeah. That's such a huge blessing. You yeah. know? Because it seems like days you don't want to no. you just don't want to go anywhere. No, and you don't. And it, yeah, it's a huge mon monumental task to get get up, get dressed. I gotta get okay. And then for me, I have to, I have to think. I haven't, I haven't even. How long has it been since I drove? Because wow. number one, changing all my medications. Um, I just will not take that risk for anyone. But then also, my left eye, the eyesight just seems to be getting worse and worse. And so, yeah, some days I'm just, I'm so grateful for being able to call your doctor and having that meeting face-to-face -face online. Yes. That's another That's blessing. Good things that have come out. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, huge. Two other, two other big things for me is surrounding yourself and choosing to be in relationships with people that see you even yeah. through your your mess you know your, your, your or looking your, your at your mess. mess completely different you know they could see your you know countenance I mean? they, they, like they, they looking at it like i don't know you know what I mean? amazing it's like okay right now you might be having a moment where you're worrying about something you really shouldn't be but but they have yeah. an ability to still discern you know that yeah. soul is having to go through that you know I, like i know him right he's not yeah. that so that is huge because a lot of people if they start seeing behavior that's, that's different or whatever, they like will lose sight of like the, the pure soul that's behind there. And, and then they'll just be gone. And then the last thing, and this is just, I think applies just to all of, all of us. Yeah. And that is 
is, you know, being receptive to just universal truth. You know, in our in our beliefs, you know, the the, the Holy Spirit can communicate when something's being spoken that's true. Well, that's not, just, that's not going to fit for everybody. Well, well, I, I, well, I want to be always careful with that because. Well, let me, no, 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 no. Let me, let me clarify. We're going to be talking I'll use an person. example. I mean, like, no, no I'll, I'll use an example. So of it. You, and be no, right. I'll, I'll use an example of it. Just something as simple as the principle of grace. Yeah. You might have one walk of life that feel like that the reason why grace is a reality is because of, you know, Jesus Christ and the atonement. You might have one walk in life that feels that, that it just came from a creed, you know, whatever. But the point yeah. is, is that I, I lived most of my life and I didn't even know what grace was. So that's what I mean by that. That's what I mean by that is that I, I, I finally learned what grace was, why it existed for me. And, you know, and, and, and in my life, it happened to be from a Christianity standpoint, but but that's what I mean by that is that it doesn't matter, you know, no amount of meds, no amount of good people, no amount of therapy and, and, and helping them, you know, have you be more rational is going to replace some of the, what I would call like higher vibration truth, universal truths. Yes. I think surrender is a big part of that. Yeah. Too. Oh, you feel that, thank like, you for saying that. that. Yeah. It's, it's hard. It's hard to relax enough and it's hard to be brave enough. Yeah. To just see what is true for you. That thank you for saying yeah, that, that because really that is good. that's a huge one that I that I oh that was hard. I'll never forget. So it all hit at once with me, well our family. Our third pregnancy was really, really hard on my body. I didn't know why. I had sinus infection after sinus infection, which caused other parts of my body to get infections. It just wasn't healing. Um, had her. Um, that's when I noticed a difference, this eye coming out, literally. Um, but I just kind of shrugged it off, like, that's got to be the angle of the mirror. Because <laughs> you know how you have the mirror and then you're like medicine cabinets? So that's how I got the side view and uh so we had her in july and then i had a hysterectomy because they were like this is just done a number on your body that was in november and then in january they found the tumor and then rex got really ill being overdosed so we got that serotonin syndrome and then when our daughter was nine months she had a, like a detached ureter and kind of a double system. So um, they're pretty sure she's got like four kidneys and so too. And one of her ureters completely detached. So she was urinating blood and turned out she had a, a very life-threatening infection, which took a lot of nurse care at home for weeks before they could even do surgery. <laughs> That was one of the times I got down on my knees. I just had this new baby mm -hmm. and two little children. And it was the hardest thing I've ever had to like force out. And it was just thy will be done because this isn't about me. This is about your bigger picture. You can see it all. I can't. But boy, as a human being, we really fight. Yeah. Sometimes to be like, no, I have my life planned out. This wasn't part of it. I don't know what made you think. <laughs> but yeah, it's surrendering. I've even been it's angry. So... I've even been angry. I have tore up God in my yeah. prayers, man. I have I have let him have it. I think that's pretty normal. You know, I I remember having a prayer say, in look, if I'm going to have faith and I'm going to have a conversation and talk to you and believe that prayer is real, it's not going to be some rehearsed. I'm going to talk with you as if you're like right here in the room. And right now I'm pissed as hell. What the hell is going on? My wife is suffering. You know, if you're not going to be able to have a conversation like that and you can't handle it, then we don't even have a foundation we can go off of. Right. Cause it's not a, it's not an honest, you know, place. And I think, I think that uh, it's been said before, but Hey, look, I think it's not, it's not God's first rodeo. He can handle it. <laughs>
Surrendering <laughs> is the beginning of true healing, I think, though. Yeah. It really is just... Okay, so this is my life, and this is me, and how can I build on that? Oh. And you're... Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, you guys, I, I'm so glad to you, be you able You really to... kind of hit your niche there, you know? You, you know what you're doing. We want to have you back <laughs> sometime, maybe around oh, the holidays sure. or something. I, you know, we've, we've, we've got booked, um, uh, I think it's at least through June, starting to get into July. And so we've got some more that we need to add to that beyond that. But, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's just a, an honor having you guys. And I plus call anytime. Seriously. What's that? Call. I was just saying, just as friends call anytime. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to send you my te uh, my my number. I, I, I gave you my number, didn't I? I don't know. Probably. Maybe. If not, I mean, I got your email. I I yeah, or something. We'll we'll, I'll, we'll, I'll do it. we'll get there. But where do you guys live? Maryland. Oh, that's so beautiful. I don't know. You if, love it. You guys like it there? I do. I love it here. Yeah. I've never been that far east. I've I've, I've been up to to Georgia. I've been to, to Georgia, but. We, um, do you know where Utah, you got your Salt Lake and then your Utah Lake? You guys know those two big lakes just right there? Well, we're just, we're west of Utah Lake, just nestled there by a golf course there. So. Nice. Yeah, so we love. Utah's gorgeous. Yeah, Utah's cross country many, many years ago. It was definitely the highlight. Yeah. Oh, that's good to hear. Especially after America's Got Talent. What was that comedian? What? The comedian, it was like. So, and he had to drive from New York, I think, to to L.A. to be on America's Got Talent. And he actually might have been the winner, if not runner-up, of, of a couple seasons back. He said, he's like, oh, yeah, the drive was, you know, amazing, oh, he had beautiful. And he says, and then night we hit Utah. Oh. And he said, nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> in some like, places. No. Nah. In some places. There's yeah, I know. He, he didn't was, drive was, through. It was funny he didn't go hell, through the Grand Canyon or Moab or Park City. Or... See how we like get the. I had to just laugh, mm -hmm. and I'm like, "Well, wait. I mean, there's parts of Kansas that can get through." Yeah, he's out in the salt flats or something. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we see. We've if said you ever the... do, we have a couple of these rooms. This one is one of them that um, we've got a couple of rooms ready for visitors. We've said if there's anyone, you know, that wants to come and just stay in Utah, don't want to spend a lot of money on hotels. Yeah, we said that to Misty. Come and... over. It would be, it would be so fun to just sit back and talk to you guys, you know? Awesome. Yeah, we would love to meet you guys in person one day. Yeah, just know that's an, invi that's an invitation, you know? Uh, that's if out you guys are around Maryland, let us know. Heck oh, yeah. we will. We will. <laughs> Well, look for the episode. Look for it'll be interesting to see if I can get some of them technical difficulty <laughs> shenanigans. You'll have to watch to see if I can get you that. You know, we're all going to be dying when it's all spliced together. But after it's all done, whatever was recorded, I'll do my best, brother, to, yeah, to, to put it out there. But. And then um, you know you could share with your following and kind of say, hey, you know, if you go out, go follow Rex and Nell and Spoonful of Sugar and go watch the video that's out there that I was able to. Yeah, every, time, every time I, I, I see videos of. Yeah. Like that. I always tell them, hey, you guys should check out. Oh, oh that's, that's sweet awesome. of you. Thank you so, so much. That's awesome. That means the world. Even yeah. though we're still... You missed our microphone, I think. I think it was gone by the time... Oh, all, the, all the technical? You'll have to tell her, yeah. So we I had was a... like so proud of the microphone. I'm telling Antonio, look, it changes colors. and it's supposed to be really good. That's what messed up the entire... <laughs> We're still low budget production, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I mean, give us. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, thanks. I have no. Thanks. I don't know. It's still fun. It's, it's. I love it. Yeah, have fun doing it, and things will just kind of go. Great things. You're gonna. You're gonna be doing a lot more bigger things that are gonna be greater. Yeah. So, so are you, my friend. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, that you was an absolute are... pleasure to go through your TikTok. Absolutely. Uh, I'm gonna have to go check out some more too. Cause I know they're, they're fun. Yeah, pretty, you'll you'll know. I've got to show in the classroom one because that had me dying. 
That's what I'm going to start doing. Nerves. <laughs> are we here? Oh, that's funny. I even had to ask that. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, all the voices because it's like <laughs> well, I love the depression where like the blinds come halfway and then you're like, I, you know, that was that was literally the blinds were messing me up. I, I just I just I could tell. <laughs> but you went with it so perfectly, and that's exactly how we would feel. Like, are you kidding me? Well, there's just so yeah. there's so like there, you have so much likability. Yeah, and, you, you, you know, really your, do. Your wife is, is a complimentary. You What's your name, by the way? I'm sorry. Megan. Mm-hmm. Megan. Okay. Did you know that? Did, yeah. you, did you catch that? He said it twice. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Maybe more. Megan. Well, yeah, it's nice to meet you guys. You guys are awesome. It was nice really a pleasure. Thank we'll you. We'll do it again. Have a good oh, we will do it again. Okay, Me go too. love those kids. Yeah, let's do it again. Yeah. yeah, squeeze on those kids. Go get some mac and cheese or oh, Taco Bell going or something. Send Rex your. Um, <laughs> You say, I like Taco Bell, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, you do, do that. I swear. Oh, I'm going to grab I some. Know, I swear. I hear that every day. I think I will get some Taco Bell tonight, maybe. <laughs> I don't know how. I My <laughs> taste buds need more than that. Not me. At least not that's my. Night. That's my last meal. Yeah. <laughs> Keep my feet warm and give me a burrito while I die, and I'll be happy. <laughs> You know what everybody else's last meal is like? <laughs> oh, have you heard of Ruth's Chris Steakhouse? Or, you I'm know. Exactly. No. Taco I don't know Bell. what it is. I just love Taco Bell. <laughs> what is that? And then he tries to, I love my favorites when he tries to convince you. He'll say, well, look, it's got protein and dairy. It's got your veggies. It's got veggies. And I'm like, no, Rex, that is not a balanced meal. Oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> How can you go wrong? It's got it all. <laughs> That's what his balanced pyramid looks like of a healthy diet. I have a, a place in my heart for Taco Bell because back Turkey. in the 90s, yeah. uh, when I was started being a vegetarian, it was one of the only fast food options for vegetarians. There you go. Oh, yeah. and burrito or- Rex loves you. That's awesome. They yeah. do actually. Yeah. Um. They do actually offer a lot of options as far as like, you know, can I just get the beans yeah, and this and this and this without the tortilla? They, yeah, they have yeah. a whole vegetarian menu. They can get you can get a veggie burrito and stuff like that. <laughs> he knows it. He knows it all. <laughs> Not that I, I mean, I love my steak, but you know, for, 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 yeah. Yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, no, take me to Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Thank you. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so if you ever come, we'll be obviously doing some Taco Bell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mistake. Like the other day, on just on that note, and then we'll let you go. Just the other day, we were just going through hell with all the surgery and our dog died, stuff like that. Yeah. We had family around us just watching a movie. We bought seventy bucks of Taco Bell, brother. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me hold up. I've only done that one time. To- one time in my life, it was just, and it was for you know a number of people, yeah, right? Like, whoa, whoa. But it was fun. Yeah, we had all of our kids and all of their significant. Yeah, we had a bunch of people. And just, our really good friend. Yeah, oh, it wasn't because just our dog. Us. It was our dog's last night with us all. Yeah. And that was his favorite, favorite yeah. thing is was to be surrounded by us. So. Yeah. So we just. Yeah. I'm like, you can't just spit out. Seventy bucks to talk about it was. My eyes were just like, yeah. what is happening? We had a lot of people. When you talk about, gives you the special bags. There's a problem, I think. Like, I'm like, I've never seen those bags before. No, they're for heavy lifting. The heavy lifting bags. Oh, really? <laughs> plastic so... bags? I think they were plastic bags. Yeah, they were different. Bags to put bags. They were like, this guy's not playing. <laughs> oh, okay. We had so much fun. You guys have a good night. Oh, so will, you give, will you send your address to Rex in, in the email? Okay. We got something to send you. you guys too. All right. All right. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, night. Bye. Love you. See ya. Hey, everybody. Live. Uh, today we have Antonio with us. Surprise, we got Nell here. We got a bit of our story to the. 
recovery that we've been through with her surgery. Um, so I'm going to go fix this lighting a little bit. There we go. Um, go ahead and just turn the music down a little bit. We'll go ahead and get started. So just give it a little bit for people to join. We've been kind of missing you for a little bit, so excited to do this live. All right. Here we go. Okay. Hi guys. <laughs> We're really excited for this live. No. As you know, I haven't been live for, I think, and uh, we're going to share a little bit of this, this story with our guest today. Um, Sorry, guys. And, uh, she, she's had her surgery, and uh, we didn't go live uh, for the past couple of weeks. We had feeling. Um, yep. For those that, sure that some people were sense of why they haven't seen us, um, were maybe thinking Spoonie Life was, you know, had something to do with it. And it's true, not just with what... What, what's what been good with Nell, but um, we had two, so we're actually looking forward to, to having them you know, in July. Um, but then in the hospital, and one was, you know, her, her dog died during the, the same, and so it's just kind of crazy. And our dog passed away. Yeah, and then our Bay dog passed away as well, so so life happens, right? And, yeah. And, uh, and uh, so appreciating, we talked a little bit about before we got, you know, into lives that you never know what you're going to get, right? Have it kind of be consistent, but... Um, reason, aside from it, you know, with this, um, uh, I'm really excited. I'm really our, our guest Antonio, Antonio with this. Um, <laughs> when we were talking uh, about how, the, you know, having conversations about not just pain that bring pain, but, you know, pain comes in all. Uh, and um, Antonio actually joined us. Uh, in, uh, the turn TikTok purple. Get, uh, an opportunity to get to him, right? Because he had a. a yeah. So I wanted to make sure that I that I, I struggle with. I have OCD and perfection. Um, we've got mental illness and. Uh, and it's been interesting to I see. Have anxiety. Yeah. No. Pretty bad sometimes. So and uh, let's see who's Mike. Plus, I'm not. I don't know who that is. So I'm gonna. Um. Um. Did you find a joint? Yeah. There's a way that um, you. Can, there's there's a way that you can. Leave a comment if you. That you can do a dual, dual live day since we've got the, the, the guest. If you yeah, if you want to join be a guest speaker a part of the live, feel free to rex.nell at gcom, um, and we'd love to, to join the live and kind of be in the picture like with Antonio. Or even because I want. Um. Oh yeah, Zoom. Yeah, yeah. When we can get. More. I was there on that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the church <laughs> stuff. That's okay. Getting... I promise. <laughs> yeah, but you know, we, but you know, it's been interesting to oh, watch shoot. society, their, their their attitude about mental and emotional health, and and the stigmas are we're not quite there. So it there, it, it takes um, person in terms of virtue and strength, my friend. Put yourself out there, and uh, and That's exactly what I was thinking. Uh, you probably uh, you were loved a lot today by me because <laughs> I was like, right. I like every. <laughs> what do you do? You're amazing. Uh, you were loved a lot today by me because <laughs> I was like, I like every. <laughs> what do you do? You're amazing. Yeah. If you're joining on on the comments, not capturing those. But yeah, you know, Antonio. Um, she's lagging. Hopefully, maybe that'll yeah. fix it he's, since he switched over. She she's right in that. You know, attracted me about you is is it, especially when. You're, you're to put yourself out there and 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 be a good fit to, to represent optional health you do it with such grace Thanks. you know yeah. and, and, <laughs> and 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 um you know people resent optional health you do it with such grace Thanks. you know yeah. and, and, <laughs> and 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 um you know people more people in for a minute it's I, you have to be back side you know be just as inspiration as some chair or exactly. the, Someone win uh, medals. Those big old, those big old, what do you call it? Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
until something. How long have you been able to go back? I How long have you been able to go back? I see really on TikTok. I think so. Uh, mental health. Yeah. Uh, mental health. Yeah. My thing is mental health. And I'm gonna do next. There My wife. After my TikTok happened. Everyone. Anyway, and how it goes, and you have somebody make, you have somebody make. Talk. You know, you've got, you've got fun. There's, you know, you've got, you've got fun. There's these just real and different things, real and different things. Like I, that's where we're, we're think they're looking uh, different plant talks. One, right. you know. It keeps so. That's okay. Says it has a good. Job. You guys, we're sorry. Sorry. That you got looted. Station looted to understand the fact you go through and. Cope with what well, she's had with what I'm and, and, and vice. It's we. Vice. It's we. Is something. And again, that. That. Sure. Before we get in, you know, you're kind of with us. I mean, and I'm not sure how it, it. A little bit about you. I started, you know, following and, and, and so that we can going and, and, and so that we can kind of. And, and in seconds. I think we can. Half I want to. I think that's going to end our lives. So, because the connection struggling. Want me to the live stop in and get our connection go? So,
to do it. You wouldn't be logged in in the right Yeah, it'd only be that. Who's there? I have. You have to go or whatever. And Are you on your. You have to go or whatever. And Are you on your. In there and see what happens. In there and see what Connect. Connect. Connection. You're saying that. Rewatch it. Rewatch it. I mean, obviously. Yep. Yep. I. I've just. And at the end of TikTok. I would look. Yeah, that's yep, you on the left. Yep, you on the left. It will help. It will help. Devices. So if I'm that. It's really. It would be worth. Or hang on. It would be worth. Or hanging on. And read all, all the. Let's. The, let's just. I think that might be complete. Without. Complete. Without all. Everything. Everything says. Literally. Just starting. Literally, just starting. Because it's not. This isn't even. It's not. This isn't even. It's going to read. We so I don't. We so I don't. This middle. It's. it's
All the sudden, all the sudden, <laughs> um, yeah, Is there anyone like, yeah, Is there anyone like, yeah, it's so, so a because too, too long option, which is, which is because they, cause they, what works on high, on high, the power, she's got, she's over there, can't repeat in that word, but that was thinking about it. A lot of music, but they've said, you know, I understood the whole new level. Anybody that hard, anybody that hard, no, oh, it's the pain starting again. With pain starting again. With is that is that kind of.
Right now, right now, right now. So, we're going to TikTok. We'll have to just hopefully we'll have to just hopefully that's for people that hopefully that's for people that kind of so so well, but i'd rather live or they can everyone you're not is you're messing up the testing huh the testing huh so yeah yeah and as people can ask Mm -hmm. Now it records, and as people can ask, mm -hmm. now it records, purple, purple, oh, operation, oh, yeah, yeah, I think you told me about it.
Can you hear us okay? Or anything else? Or just join, so... Sun just texted me. Yeah, I think Sun just texted me. Yeah, I think that's... Oh, boy. 30. Oh, wow. Thank you. 30? You look pretty good. Doing well. We was, um, we was, we was, I was out, I'm, out, I'm, I see us up here. Feedback. And he's blaming. Hey, hey. I see, how is, I see them, I see them right there. Let us. Live, make it, and see. Well, this is just more. Yeah. About, um, and with taking the, behind the scenes, you guys are on repeat. Are on repeat. Yeah, yeah, we, we have even so that will be, so that will be here. Such um, we, such um, we might friend of on a sketch and do yeah. do a bunch of stuff. Our fizz talked. Well, on TikTok. Yeah. Come still. Come still. It be so, so we're people. You know, positive, positive, and it mess. There's a winner. Yeah. It's, yeah. say, look, inside now. Yeah, one yeah. of my, uh, one yeah. of my, one, yeah. uh, one yeah. of my, you got she's Miss You Talk. If you look up, actor, yeah, uh, yeah but what, she's got, but link, but what, she's got, but link that. Awesome, if you, specific, you, specific, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Love, it's, you know, I personally brought it up, you know, I personally Brought it up. Reminds me, um, um, and I'll be neg, neg, and I know it's, you know, it's our because, our, because oh, you, yeah, but yeah, you do sleep probably, probably not. First, like the ek, like the ek is eighteen. Seen, seen circles, circles. Red circles. I've had three tumors. Um, convinced. There's another one. If it's, it's sick as well. My dad was two hours with, but no I was even somewhere made them as hell. Out of fun!
Take 10. Take 22. We reboot. Even put it in. I might even. We might need to do it for another day. It might have. Need to do it for another day. It might have you. I might create. I might create. You know. It's, you know. We've got good and good and. Action. Action. It's it's all. Awesome. One more thing. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna see if that's. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. All right, so I can hear me in here. I can hear you. Can you go into TikTok and see how that's, if that's no, behaving any different? different. It says good connection. Huh? Thank you. It doesn't say you're live yet. Back. Is it delayed? Is that uh, better? It looks good. No, it's not delayed. It's not delayed? No. That must have been it. Um, where's Antonio? Uh, let me pull him back with this. With the yeah, zoom. See. There he is. See? Um, Antonio, I think that. Good. No, okay. okay, that's what it was. This goes in my office now. Thank you. Yeah, take it far away. We don't need that anymore. Yeah, we do. Just in my where we have more internet access. No, but, it, but we, we don't hook it up to the phone and stuff. It don't have to be for something else. This will be the this will. Have... Oh, that's because of that. Oh, there you go. Okay. Woohoo!
Okay, well, we figured out what was the problem. This odd, um, this recording here, in fact, what I'm going to do, this recording here, in fact, what I'm going to do, what's it doing? What'd you just do? We lost. Oh, no, don't touch him. Keep your grubby fingers off everything right now. It was working. You don't get to touch anything. Okay, then I, maybe I won't. In fact, let's just do that. No, we're not going to record the comments. We're going to do the TikTok recording with the one that's recording now. We got the audio right. Yeah, yeah. We don't, we're gonna just we leave don't it touch anymore tonight. Okay. Let's do this now. You know, we were just doing intro anyway there, Antonio. <laughs> That was a good long hour intro. Don't you worry, guys. I. That I I think it, absolutely that was the microphone. Yeah, it was it was the mic. I think overloaded something. Trying to change colors. Like, we're not connected to. <laughs> yeah. You would have died if you've seen the cords coming out of his phone. It worked. I don't know how I didn't pick up on that. Earlier. I will have you know that I tested and it worked and. Yeah. And then Sometimes I came in, remember? It was it me. Works till it doesn't work. No. <laughs> it works till the wife comes in. <laughs> Messes up the setup. All right, well, um, if you're joining us now in live, if there was any of the shenanigans of the earlier technical difficulties, I will splice them to the end of this live. But. Uh, and if you've hung on. There's a price we won, so we've got people that are starting to join, so it, I think that we're we're good. Um, and so, if you're watching this on YouTube and you want to see some of the conversations with whatever YouTube yeah, was we're just success, gonna mesh it all together. Um, and you'll also see the fun that we have with the technical difficulty. We got things working, and we were just really just kind of talking about how Antonio. Started getting to know us uh, kind of around the time that we did the turn. Oh no, him and I went way off into um, space. They were, they were, uh, you know, you guys were really <laughs> empathizing with with the anxiety that you go through.